Uh, Liam, welcome to Hull City. How pleased are you to be signing here today? Yeah, delighted. Obviously, the last couple of days have been really good being up here and uh, being with the boys and that. So delighted to finally to uh, sign on and uh, really get going. Yeah, pleased to be back in English football as well. I am. Yeah, you know, four and a half years in America, a long time. Uh, one I enjoyed, but nice to be home and, and nice to uh, now get back playing and, and, and back in the championship. Yeah, you mentioned you've been here this week training with the lads. Is that what? Is that what's persuaded you to sign on the Yeah, line? definitely. I think, uh, you know, all parties spoke and, and spoke uh, for a long time. <laughs> you know, obviously, talking about my fitness, obviously, we finished on the 14th of December before. So uh, I had a little bit of time off, but, you know, just come up and train and look about the place and meet people and uh, have a little chat with the gaffer. And uh, really enjoyed everyday training. It's been great. And the boys have really welcomed me. So, you know, it was a no-brainer for me, really, in the end. Yeah. What has Nigel Adkins said to you about coming here? Yeah, he's saying obviously good bunch of lads, a bunch of lads that are working hard for each other and uh, looking to move in the right direction. Obviously, they've had a, a good run as, uh, uh, up until the Blackburn game, obviously. Um, but one a team that wants to work hard and, and work hard for each other and um, one that I hopefully can come into and use my experience and, and push on a little bit more. Yeah. Any familiar faces here that you've played with in the past? Not played with, I knew a, a, a young Eric Lehigh at Aston Villa. Obviously, he came through at Villa, I think he came on trial. Um, knew him as a young boy there, but, you know, played against Fraser Campbell and, and, uh, and Chris as well. So, you know, no one that I, I personally knew, but didn't really need to, really. Everyone was really nice and, and, and uh, welcomed, me, welcomed me in and uh, it made it a lot easier. Can you sense that the team's been on a, a really good run recently with what you've seen in training? Yeah, definitely. I think everyone's on a high and everyone's buzzing about the place. Um, and that, that makes it even easier for me. You know, if it was on a losing streak, it might be a little bit harder. But, you know, the boys are buzzing around and enjoying it and enjoying training every single day. And it makes it easier for me to come in and enjoy myself and uh, enjoy getting back into English football. Just tell us a little bit about your career. You started at Aston Villa and yeah. a bit of a tour of the Midlands, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. I think people were wondering what Midlands club I was going to end up this time. But now, obviously, started my career at West Ham as a boy and ended up at Aston Villa and uh, started my career there and tore around the Midlands and got to a few clubs up there. Enjoyed my time, but, you know, it was time to uh, try something different. Uh, went to America and, and loved every minute of it. But it was time to come home. You know, young kids growing up and a six-month uh, baby I've got at the minute. So uh, one to enjoy home time and uh, one to enjoy that they can come and watch the matches now. Just reading the Portland Timbers website, you seem to have left a, a lasting impression there. That, yeah. that must be something that fills yeah. you with pride. Yeah, it was great. I think you never know what kind of reaction from fans you're, you're going to get when you leave or when you uh, depart from a club, but everyone was fantastic and you know, reiterated my time there that it was an unbelievable time, one I loved every single minute of it. Tough one to leave, but... You know, it was time to go, it was time to move on and um, looking forward to the next challenge with Hull and, you know, appreciate all, all the good times over Portland, but looking to all the good times, uh, ones with Hull now. Was it always in your mind to come back to England to, to finish your career? Yeah, I think, you know, I went out there at 29, so I was, I was pretty young with most players going out there. Always wanted to come back here and play before hanging up my boots, but not ready to do that yet. Um, and you know, I always come, wanting to come back and play. I missed it every time I when I was out there, but enjoyed it. Nice to be back, and uh, you know, looking to hit the ground running and uh, enjoy some times with Hull. It's a short-term deal at the moment until the end of the season. What are your aims for the next few months? Yeah, just to try and get some gains on the belt. Obviously, you know, uh, I've not played since I think December fourteenth. Um, you know, I've been training and, and doing bits on my own. But, you know, it's just been nice to be back in with the boys and getting some sharper stuff under myself. You know, I don't feel unfit, which is good. It stands me in good stead. So, you know, it's up to me to prove myself to try and uh, get a game and, and try and stay in there and prove myself. And, you know, look, I'm trying to help, help the team with my experience and hopefully I can do that. Because you might be needed straight away. There's a few injuries <laughs> at centre-back at the moment. Yeah, you, obviously I've, I've seen the injuries and, you know, it comes to... There's a lot of games in the championships and it happens to every sort of team. So, you know, that's maybe given the chance for me to come here and uh, hopefully I can use that and use my experience and, and, and put a little bit of a stamp on the team. Would you be ready if a debut did come this weekend? I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, why not? You know, I'd, I'll always be ready to play. I think, obviously, you know, the team's had a, a long build-up for the week um, and I'm sure Nigel has, has got his team ready to go. 
but you know I'll be always be ready to be, ready to be called on and uh, looking forward to uh, putting the shirt on and get going. And just finally, you touched on your experience, and, and that's what you're going to bring to the back line. Are you looking forward to sort of nurturing the, the younger lads in the group? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously, there's a few centre halves here, and obviously, a couple of them are young boys. You know, I've had the pleasure of watching them train this week and, and you know, put in there with them as well. So, hopefully, I can use my talk, talking and experience to um, help them along in their career. You know, everyone needs it when, you, when you're growing up. and. Um, you know, I've been there, been there myself. So hopefully, I can help them. You know, in my time here at Hull, and uh, looking forward to that challenge.